So today I'm going to be doing something a little bit differently. It's not quite going to be a how-to. It's more going to be a how to make something work. So uh, I spent four days living out of a car in San Francisco, and I'm going to show you how I did it and give you 10 tips on the side on how to travel cheap. So first matter of business is sleeping arrangement. You can fold the seats forward on the Ford Focus. Then you can lay out your sleeping pad, sleeping bag, and pillow. You can uh, sleep with your head up here. You could also sleep with your head back there if you want to. Okay, so now that we've got our bed, the next question is where do we put it? And there are two options, in front of someone's house or in a Walmart parking lot. The advantage of putting it in front of someone's house is there's typically less traffic and it's usually darker. The cons are you can get the cops called on you. Neighborhood watch and all. The pros of putting it in a Walmart parking lot is that there is no neighborhood watch. The cons are there's a lot more traffic and it's usually brighter. Good morning. Okay, let's get down to living in San Francisco. Okay, so rule number one with living cheaply while you're uh, in a different city is uh, don't go out to eat all the time. Pick up your local Fiber One bars and milk and then hit that up and you're basically solid. That's my breakfast today. Rule number two, always stay organized. So when you buy things like mouthwash, just toss it in the back for later. Hand sanitizer, don't toss it in the back. You're probably gonna need that in a little bit. Get to breakfast. You may think I'm kidding, but uh, the greatest thing about Fiber One bars uh, while you're traveling is that it makes you go to the bathroom. That's a great thing because traveling, eating weird, eating on a weird schedule just throws you off completely. So, uh, Fiber One bars for the win. Third rule of surviving in a foreign city you gotta blend in. That means changing up your wardrobe. There we go. Now nobody's gonna recognize me as a foreigner in these parts. I'm riding with the locos. I still got the tags on just to make sure that they know where I'm from. Rule number four, throw some healthy things into your diet. I got some cherry tomatoes. You might notice that the uh, thing is half empty. That's because I ate half of them before I got to the checkout counter. I also picked up some apples. Two dollars a pound, pretty cheap. You know, those fiber one bars, they're great and they're fantastic and all, but uh, California has a particularly fibrous form of this fiber one bar, so beware. Rule number five, coffee shops. They always have great Wi-Fi, the bathrooms are nice and fantastic wash up every once in a while, but you have to support them. That's why I bought this sandwich. Mm. Whenever I go to a new city and I live in it, I love to experience it like the locals experience it. So in California, that means traffic. So I'm gonna be in traffic for the next probably, I don't know, 10 days. It might be longer. If I starve out here, you'll know why. Rule number six, always have a trash can. For me, that's this thing over here. Rule number seven, learn to change in the car in the middle of a city. You guess what I'm doing right now? Uh-huh. Tip number eight, always be a good person. Somebody just dropped their phone underneath their car. I got down on the floor in the San Francisco streets. It was disgusting. Crawled underneath and got the phone, and the lady bought me a drink. So there you go. Rule number nine, always mark on the maps on your phone where you parked your car. You're going to walk like 12,000 steps, be giving yourself a pat on the back for reaching your step goal for the day, and you're going to be kicking yourself in the face for not knowing where you parked your car. So always mark it on the map. Rule number 10, enjoy everything. Thanks so much for watching, and uh, if you enjoyed that, go ahead and subscribe and like. It's a little bit of an unusual video, but you know, I'll throw them in every once in a while, so enjoy. Okay, one thing that I forgot to mention that everyone's gonna be asking, and it's the first question that people ask you when you tell them that you lived out of your car, and that is, where do you shower? So there's a couple options that come to mind. The first one is truck stops. They're disgusting, and they usually charge something. The other option is find a beach and a public shower right next to it. That works as well. Last thing is, you can probably find a public restroom and then wash up with some paper towels, which isn't usually very effective. So, uh, yeah, there you go.